Today we will be going over the inventory T account and equation. Shown on the slide is the inventory T account. We see that we start with beginning inventory, we add purchases, subtract cost of goods sold, and that will give us our ending inventory. We add purchases because that is an increase in inventory, and we subtract cost of goods sold because that is a decrease. We no longer have that inventory because it has been sold. Shown on this slide is the same formula, just without the T account. Here you can see we have beginning inventory plus purchases minus cost of goods sold gives us ending inventory. In this example, Bella Beauty is trying to determine what their ending inventory is. However, all they know is their beginning inventory, purchases, and cost of goods sold shown below. Beginning inventory is 300,000, purchases is 200,000, and cost of goods sold is 250,000. What is Bella Beauty's ending inventory based on the information above? I chose to solve it in a T account, so I put in the 300,000 for beginning in inventory, the 200,000 for purchases, and then subtracted the 250,000 for cost of goods sold. That then gave me an ending inventory of 250,000. In the next, next example, Bella Beauty is trying to determine what their cost of goods sold is. However, all they know is their beginning inventory, purchases, and ending inventory. Their beginning inventory, again, is 300,000, while their purchases are 200,000. However, in this example, the ending, the ending inventory is 150,000. What is Bella Beauty's cost of goods sold based on the information above? I again chose to solve this using a T account. I put in my beginning inventory plus my purchases, and then I found my ending inventory. If you add beginning plus purchases minus ending, that will give you your cost of goods sold of 350,000. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.